All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Quick coming back with another video. Yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and talk about this PNB Rock situation uh, for the final time. Final time, but uh, some information has come through. There's been some developments going on with the case. Um, so let's dive in. Now, I was scrolling down my feed and all of that stuff on IG, Instagram. On Instagram, my Instagram uh, username is Quick TV, just like on here, spelled the same exact way. C W I K T V. That's C W I K T V on Instagram. Follow up. But yeah, I was scrolling through and I uh, happened to come across a post uh, from my boy Zip with the drip. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, my brother Zip with the drip. Shout out to you, my nigga. Now I seen his post. And on his post, he was saying that they had found the, uh, the individuals involved with the PNB Rock uh, murder, okay? Now, come to find out, the uh, the dude or the shooter that uh, that took PNB out of here was 17. 17 years old. 17, yeah. So, the shooter was 17 years old, all right? And he was helped, or he had help from another individual, his accomplice or whatever you want to do, however you want to call it, but he was, he got help. His getaway driver was his dad. His getaway driver was his dad, all right? <laughs> Crazy. Now, when I heard this, I was like, yeah, I'm about to hop in on this because we, uh, we got this narrative going on in hip hop or in the industry right now that these young niggas is wild, these young niggas is crazy, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to listen to nobody, they don't want to do this, they don't want to do that. These motherfuckers is out here shooting up everything. They, uh, they out of control. The youngest is out of control. Yeah, they are, all right? You know why they out of control? Niggas like him, all right? Yeah, yeah, niggas like him. Uh, the, 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 the 70 year old dad is the reason why these young niggas is out here acting crazy and acting wild, bro, and shooting shit up. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I was growing up, bro, I used to get in tune with old niggas and all that shit all the time. You feel me? Like, it was a particular older nigga, or, nah, I ain't gonna say it was a particular, because all these niggas did it, okay? Now, this older nigga would be like, hey, I ain't fighting nobody. I have I'm shooting, nigga. Try to fight this six. Try to fight these bullets. Try to fight this and do this and do that, nigga. I ain't doing nothing, nigga. And I'm like, bro, you better to at least show your son how to fight, nigga, because pretty soon he gonna be he out here with his mouth, because the nigga's son mouth was crazy. You know what I'm saying? He would sit there and talk crazy to a nigga like I do this and blah 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 blah, nigga. Use a bitch and blah 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 blah, but could not protect or defend himself at all. You know what I'm saying? The nigga little sister be over there beating his ass, all right? So, I'm telling him, like, bro, you better start showing this nigga how to fight and how to do something before this nigga start getting into high school and, uh, and y'all not gonna be able to save him. He was like, fuck that, nigga, fuck that. Nigga, uh, nigga, ain't, my son ain't fight nobody, nigga. You old niggas, man, you old niggas promoted this style of living oh i'm not fighting i'm shooting i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm going out here and i'm doing that right and you guys ain't held yourself accountable for nothing it's always the young niggas now you get the prime example of a young nigga out here doing something with his dad right there so yeah we need to shine a light to you older niggas man and hold y'all accountable y'all the reason why all this shit is fucked up y'all the reason why these niggas these young niggas is out here shooting shit up you know what I'm saying? Y'all the reason why these young niggas is out here acting wild and doing this crazy shit, bro. You older niggas. You know what I'm saying? You niggas promoted it. You taught it. You, you know what I'm saying? All of that. Y'all was supposed to stop that shit with y'all because y'all seen what it was doing to y'all. You know what I'm saying? The older niggas is supposed to show the young niggas the right way. You feel me? You ain't supposed to, oh, you know this shit is fucked up. You, you, you toss them in the same shit so the, the cycle can keep going? That's fucking crazy, bro. And then this nigga is his dad out here with his son doing this shit. You know this wasn't the first time they done been out here doing something. You know it ain't the first time they done been out here doing some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? This is the time they got caught. You feel me? Shit is crazy, bro. Teaching a 17-year-old. Now, mind you, he's 17 now. Meaning, for him to already be in this type of mentality and all of this shit, the nigga had to been already conditioned for it. 
So who knows how long this nigga been out here sticking shit up and popping shit and getting and, and his getaway drivers his dad. Fucking nuts, bro. Like you older niggas, man. It, yeah. That's what we need to start doing. This right here needs to start like a new movement of like the young niggas holding the older niggas accountable, man. Or you, you, you feel me? Like something dealing with these older niggas and how y'all dropped the ball with the next generation. Like y'all could have did way better, bro. Him, he could have did way better. Why the fuck he couldn't did the lick by himself? Nigga, you gonna appoint and you gonna have your son do it? And this nigga ain't even 18? This nigga ain't even had a chance to live life? And you gonna have this nigga put himself in a situation and do some shit and now his life is over. His life is over. You had a chance to live, have a baby, all of this shit, bro. Your son life is over. Like, that's the story for a lot of these young niggas out here. These older niggas be sitting here pushing them in, conditioning them, training them and doing all of this shit like pushing them towards this lifestyle bro and then when the shit blow up in their face and the shit and the young nigga go down you know what i'm saying the crash test dummy the crash dummy when that nigga go down the old nigga is like shit man these young niggas got to do better nigga after you to fucking drill this shit into our head nigga like oh you need to be out here doing like this and living like this and being like this nigga that nigga was 17, bro. That nigga was 17, bro. That shit is crazy. With his dad, homie. With your fucking... Why? Bro, why the fuck is you having your son go up in there with the with the yammer and you not doing it, bro? Is you crazy? The nigga 17? If the nigga don't know how to drive, that's even worse. Like the nigga ain't... Don't, if the nigga don't know how to drive, bro, that's even worse. You didn't took away this young nigga's life and the nigga didn't even get a chance to drive yet, bro. This is the dad fault. This is you old niggas fault, man. All you old niggas. Because all you old niggas be doing this shit and be having these young niggas out here on some crash dummy shit, man. Old niggas. Yeah, man, we about to get on y'all head, man. We about to get on y'all head, bro. Straight up. But yeah, YouTube. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Get this video out there, bro. So we can start this movement on these older niggas start holding them accountable for all of this shit bro because these like for real man like for real we really gotta get this message out there like you old niggas really need to start stepping up bro and holding yourself accountable yeah like i said again like share comment subscribe quick tv i'll be coming with another one